guys, it's Fab. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a magic bullet looks uh, like massive flash with a boom sound effect on it. You may have seen me do it in my edits. It's just like a massive flash use with like using spot exposure from magic bullet looks and with some blur and stuff on it. It looks awesome, but I'm going to be showing you how to do the flash. So here I've got a clip already. I've already added some Twixter to it and I've already sorted out the blur and stuff but if you don't if you want to do that I've got a tutorial on how to do zoom and blur so all it is is just pan and crop and blur so I've got this I'll show you what it's like <laughs> I've just got the blur and the pan and crop and what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to add the magic bullet looks flash with a few other things that would make it look cool. So obviously you need magic bullet looks but if you don't know how to get it just pause this video now, go download it. It can be a bit annoying to download but most editors probably have it. So what you want to do is find where he shoots on your video I've got like I said I've got this clip already done but if you're just if you're doing it with an edit what I always do is do all the effects first and the edit and the syncing and everything and then I render and add magic bullet looks so I'd suggest rendering it and adding magic bullet looks later because it does make it lag a hell of a lot so right I'm gonna find reshoots which as you can see is right there for me and what I'm just gonna do is add a marker and hit just put shot just so I know where he shoots and now I'm going to go to magic bullet looks on here drag this on and I'm going to just get a nice color correction for this I hope so let's have a look what it looks like bit dark but yeah that gives it a nice feel so now where we've got the shot you just want to hit go to your marker and hit this green button event effects event effects and you'll see here you've got the edit you just want to hit animate down here for magic bullet looks hit animate and use this scroller down here to go right down to the bottom and you'll have a bar that says magic bullet looks and what you you should have done is have sync cursor media timeline sync cursor to media timeline selected because that will whatever you do on your actual project on here it syncs up with here so say like I've clicked on that marker and hit animate then it'll just line up straight with that so I've got it lined up before he shoots now I'm just going to add a keyframe just by clicking that and then I'm going to go into edit actually sorry what you want to do before is just go one keyframe before that and hit another add another keyframe so you've got one before and one after we're going to go to the keyframe where he shoots which is here click edit and if you don't know how to use magic but it looks here's all your color corrections here's your effects and here's all the tools that you use so we're gonna go to spot exposure here spot exposure and we're gonna go to the settings on the side and drag this 050 up to about hmm, you want it about about there about I've got it on plus 9.10 and you want it around here you can change the color by just doing this but blue looks cool on this so and then you just want to click finished and now what happens is it comes in where he shoots boom there's the color correction the not color correction the uh, light explosion and now what you want to do is go ahead a good amount so about three quarters bef just before the clip or just when he comes out of blur it doesn't matter you can go as far as you want him to it and then you just want to add a new keyframe make sure you're selected on magic but it looks the tab here add a new keyframe hit edit again and go to your spot exposure where you've got it really bright double click on this and just hit naught and click finish and what that has done there is from here it, here it comes in boom comes in there and it goes back out you can obviously have it to your own liking so we'll preview this now and see what it looks like 
that's this is what it's like so far. So that's too fast. We're gonna have it lasting longer than that. So we're just gonna go to this and pull it out right almost to the end here and we'll see what that looks like. Preview that again. So we haven't added the boom sound effects yet, which we will do in a second after we preview this. It w works differently, it looks different on different clips. It doesn't look that good on this clip, but it does look pretty cool. But yeah, different maps and different colours, different games like Modern Warfare 2, it looks much different. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I think that looks alright. Maybe what we'll do is turn down the flash a little bit on here. So now the flash and yeah that does look better so now we're almost done we're going to add the boot bass sound effect which I'll put a download for in the description and I'll put a few other things that will help you here so here's the bass sound effect by itself it just sounds like this like that but when you add it to a shot and a clip it sounds awesome it sounds like this and you want to make sure that your volume over here it's turned up a little to about four ish around there. You don't want it too loud because it messes, makes your ears explode. But this is what it sounds like on four. <laughs> Maybe you could have it a little louder depending on your volume. So we'll go six, and this is what this sounds like. <laughs> and that does sound really cool. You could add a little shake to it using pan and crop, but I'll preview this for you to see now quickly with the bass and everything this is what it sounds like I'll let this preview fully so here we go you could just size this up like this to where you want it and just fade it off so that there you go that sounds cool and also things what you could add is screen things so overlays like this so here I've got an overlay that I just found and all I've done is just added it lined it up to where the shot is here above my video just by adding a new video track and then just changing this compositing mode to and you can see now this looks cool because it's got gives it the nice blur effect like like you can see the blur more and all you want to do is just go to where the flash finishes and the blur so about here and drag this the duration of it down and just add a fade so that it goes like this comes in with the flash the blur and the pan and crop and then it all fades out like that and it does look really awesome so I'll show you one more time what it looks like This is a really cool effect to use with kill feeds, you can use it with trick shots or whatever. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And there you go. I hope this tutorial helped. Please give it a like. My last one got a nice feedback nice amount of feedback on it. So if we can get fifty likes again, that would be great. I have some edits coming out soon and some more tutorials, so keep subbing. I always get new subs, so if you're new to my video and you're still watching, then subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.